We are, we are finally back together for a long belated and overdue, uh, I don't know if it's quite a game day review, maybe a kind of halfway season preview. We're going to be going through for the so rare data World Community League. Joining me as ever, of course, is Dazzer, the founder, of course. Trip and B is back in the house and we've got new managers joining us on screen today. We've got NG so rare and we've got Zachary Poo. Everyone, thanks for joining me. How are we all doing? We're good. good thanks for being everyone. Magic. So we've been kind of away from Surya Data League. I admittedly like forgot to put a team out on one game week and like totally threw away three points. And then the other week it was all draws or whatever. So I think I just about escaped with that. I'm not too sure how all that panned out in the end. But we are finally kind of getting back into, right, the season's almost finished. There is still some positions to be jostling for. But I think a lot of us, because we've met, uh, I think anyway, because I've missed a video, I feel like I'm out the loop a little bit. I don't know about anyone at home watching or listening to this, but how do you guys feel? Um, you know, I'll, I'll probably just start with Dazzer and go around the room from there. I'm not used to having four with me, sorry, if I'm a bit disorientated. But yeah, Dazzer, how do you feel about where we're at so far in the season? Uh, well, we are, I think we're on fixture seven, not game week seven. Um, and for various reasons that we all probably know. Um, people are still playing. It's gone a bit quiet on the... Uh, on the probably Twitter side, but like I say, people are putting their teams in. There have been some issues, um, but where where possible, like I say, the, the league has carried on. Um, there's been a few obvious results, few managers we all know that top of divisions and stuff. But yeah, this was just really to uh, get back together, have a chat, get some ideas for a potential different league, uh, World League Two. Um, for the second half of after Christmas or whatever, second half of the season, meet some new managers that we've never seen before um, uh, and go from there, really. But, yeah, the, the league is still going ahead. Uh, and we all know that the uh, Sarah Data helped us out with the limited cards. Um, but I think the timing from, well, it wasn't really, it was just bad luck, I think, because they're obviously going through a big business changes and that's more of a priority for them to get that in place. Um, so it's hard to keep pushing them for, can you do this? Can you do that? But um, yeah, no, the league works and that's the main thing. And we know it works because the popularity was so good. And um, I'd say probably 85% of managers have still carried on. Um, a couple sold their galleries, not because they didn't want to play in the league, they just had an offer and taking it. Uh, but yeah, no, we're all good and we want to do it again. And it's just like getting the right people in places that maybe can run it ourselves. Um so we'll see what happens in the next few few months. But yeah, we're a couple of uh, fixtures away from finishing uh, and then we'll get some of our own league tables put together and sent out. What about you tripping? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm all in, baby. I'm all in. I, I love the World League. It's one of my favourite things. I, I am a little bit, you know, a little bit of the, the fire kind of, dies down when there's technical issues when we don't have the tables and teams can't submit lineups but i i love this concept so much that dazzer and bob get brought to us that i'm i'm fully committed i've been getting my teams in every week and i'm fighting off relegation in division three as it stands right now so need my squad uh, i would probably be, be i'm one of the few guys who would be in a lot better position if we weren't using limiteds because i don't have a lot of limiteds most of my cards are rare and super rare but uh i'm glad that it's opened up to, to more people so i have no problem with that but yeah uh once you know so rare data they they put the paywall up and then everything stops working you know what can you say but no, that's just a joke <laughs> but uh uh i do hope that once things get settled for them uh, they gotta they just had to do a ton of work on uh getting mlb integrated in their site now they're gonna probably have to do it all over again for nba but eventually hopefully they will get to us our little project down here that we're we're loving to participate in the world league and uh i just love the idea of promotion relegation we were kind of talking a little bit before stream about how how much i would love promotion and relegation in american sports i think it would be such a cool thing and it'll, it'll never happen because of the way franchises are made and no no owner is going to buy an expensive nba franchise if there's a even a possibility of being relegated to a lower division or anything like that so not going to work here, but as an American, I can at least get a taste of, of what that feels like uh, a pro rail through this world league. So I love it. Zachary Poo, how have you been enjoying the, the, the world community league for the first seven match days? Oops, sorry. 
Um, sorry, I just got a phone call. <laughs> um, I, just going off of what Trippin said, the whole you know promotion relegation part of it is just is really amazing. And you know, I took it upon myself sort of when we had the issues with um, you know the tables and the standings to kind of export everything I could from Sora data into uh, the spreadsheet that you know anyone that's using the uh, who's in the World League. Um, can see it. So um, all the standings are there. Some leagues, obviously, like including mine, we league seven haven't had any fixtures in the past few weeks. But um, for the most part, you can track um, wins, losses, draws, total points. And then I sort of added in some some fun stuff like who's the overall highest scoring manager nice. um, and which division actually puts out the most points. So obviously, some divisions haven't been able to submit the last few weeks, but it's still a cool separate thing to show. Just you know which divisions are the strongest and which managers. Are putting out the uh, the strongest team so uh, yeah overall i love the concept and so i'm here <laughs> magic well how, how are you getting on this season ng yeah um, the, um it's i feel very sad because it's just stopping the middle of the season and i wasn't doing well i got a, a one win and three loss but my total points out of out of the, those games are like on top three or top four of the league Oh, wow. And so it's the first four games. I think I met uh, Zachi, Zachi Poo on one of the games, and we were very close with the fact that he had a player that didn't play. But then uh, the guy that was, was that uh, Virgil van Dijk? Yeah, I think I believe uh, that was Virgil van Dijk didn't play, and then he was just completely beat me. But uh, yeah, I mean, I felt like I could, could have done better if, if the game keep playing, but then it sucks that it has to be at a stopping point. Really hoping that we can. I wish them at some point in the future. Yeah. Well, I think, like, listening to all you guys, and I know my own experiences, like, it's definitely been a very, like, fun and, like, let's say a, a season of discovery we've had so far for season one, if you know what I mean. Like, I'm, I'm definitely excited to see what kind of follows off the back of this, whether, like, again, like, the kind of chats we had before Dazza was talking about, you know, the next time you do this, because there is, like, 15 divisions of, like, 10 managers in every division, and the kind of, you know, just the corners of the earth that we all come from, you could very easily start to segregate it into like uh, an America's division or from where like where you live in the planet. That's the division you're in, same time zones with the chat and, you know, when games are and all that kind of stuff and whatever. Europe, Asia, maybe South America or, or, I don't know, Australia, I don't know how big it is in terms of sorry air managers for a contingent. But it, anyway, you could probably chop it into like four regions, give or take. And from 15 divisions, I know yeah, it's probably an average of three or four across the board between the smaller ones and the bigger ones, maybe the smaller ones are two, bigger ones are maybe four or five, I suspect, maybe. Um, but then that offers up a lot of great opportunities to like the promotion and relegation that Trippin's after. And I, I definitely enjoy that aspect of like, if you're a brand new person joining and you're in like the bottom division of that, that's kind of an achievable path. Um, and, that you know, we were talking, I don't know if you've had any more thoughts on this, Dazzer, but when we had this chat last time, the kind of next step to that chat was then you can get Champions League situation where if you win, if you're in the top four, top five, top six or whatever of like the D1, then we have some sort of cup and it's Champions League style. And it's like, you know, maybe there's some decent prizes on that or who knows what we could do with that. But that would be like, I think, amazing fun in terms of like uh, for a community set up for a division. You know, yeah. I, th I think that's that there are so many options to go with on this that it's ridiculous um you just need someone who knows how to set it up basically um bob has bought the the website address for a, a world league um so nice. there's that option to speak to people i know bob last time i spoke to him he was you know talking to certain individuals about maybe how they can launch it but yeah having whether it's north america central and south america and then you split europe east and west or north and south you know there'd be probably eight divisions in europe on its own um sure. i'm sure asia would be asia and australia australia could join together the surrey grind boys down in new zealand would be involved somewhere as well but yeah like you say whether it's a, a division one champions league or and then the other divisions is just a big knockout cup there's so many things oh, you can do yeah. with it um like europa that? league style like if you're top yeah. four in yeah. like division two <laughs> to four or something and then if you're top four from division like i don't know you, you know yeah yeah uh, anything you could think of anything basically and that's uh you could do a world i'm sure you could do a world cup somehow you know <laughs> you get a manager to run a, i don't know 
who knows there's, there's different things that could be done but the one thing i think from this first attempt was the popularity of it and everyone basically says it's the promotion and relegation that they want to continue with um i, I wouldn't complain if someone just took it off my hands and ran it properly because um yeah it, you know they can pay you a licensing fee Daz. come on okay <laughs> <laughs> let them pay bob he he owns the website so um but yeah no like i say as long as people are enjoying it and still want to do it whatever the, the structure is for next year is open to discussion um people people as i think we've seen from just playing the actual game want success quickly and if you're in division 15 that's a lot of promotions to get to division one so i think changing it up is definitely the way to go Um, i do think going off that champions league idea though like if because i know that the divisions were set up based on date of joining so Mm -hmm. um a bigger gallery stronger gallery could be in like 15 but i think with champions league or even like a europa league style thing if you place high enough then you kind of can you can jump up to the higher one through fours um and then it just immediately reshuffles that way and sort of yeah. reorgs in a way where it sort of seems to make it more somewhat even but um yeah it's an idea <laughs> i like it and one other thing that i was thinking about too randomly just a random different but similar side game would almost be um, the World Cup sort of gave me the idea of if you're having it region based to maybe even make like you could combine a few managers or like you could have a, an America team, America one, America two, depending on, let's say you have five managers at different gallery levels, um, depending on interest, obviously, and location, how many people there are. But let's say you had five managers and you had to put out like an SO11 team where each manager had to contribute one or two players and that way you're kind of as a group so if somebody like we've had issues with you know people selling their galleries and those teams are basically dead so basically you would have a group of of a larger field of you know cards to use um against other groups of managers make it more like region based as a team versus individual just just another way to to think about it too maybe for world cup that sounds good i like that for a season two, NG, is there anything you would um, suggest or like to see? Yeah, for like season two, probably. Um, I mean, a lot. I I know a few guys who want to get in, but they wasn't able to get in, so probably more spots for people, more games. Uh, SO eleven sounds uh, totally fine. I mean, um, I feel like Sora can even do stuff that SO eleven because. Uh, we have 11 people on the soccer fields, and that's how soccer has been, or football, as I say. People have been playing. Um, it's American, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, and uh, about like maybe having a super league kind of uh, league with like people who are having like the top galleries uh, competing each other. Because uh, if you, as uh, Zach mentioned, uh, if you have a large gallery and you're putting on a uh, division fifth, division 12 then it's going to take you a long time to get to division one and so maybe the top four top two of the league leaders can compete each other and maybe we can put a put up a price i think um maybe like an entrance price for uh yeah like if you pay probably like a five or ten dollars to get in and then compete for the top prize that would be nice as well mm-hmm yeah, I'd be oh, open to that. I think it would keep people a little more engaged. I think when people heard the idea that uh, Daz and Bob put out there and just kind of randomly, the reason it grew from like planned, you know, three divisions to five to 10 to 15 was because so many people were like, oh, yeah, this is such a great idea. I want to join. I want to join. But mm-hmm. we've seen some, and we, like Daz said, we've kept about 85% of the managers are still playing. That's great. But for the people that have fallen off, maybe just a even a small entry fee like that would keep them a little more engaged and you'd make sure that only people who really wanted to compete and commit would uh, would be willing to pony up. And then that, then we've got some prizes at the end as well. And you can, the, um, you can have like one paid league and one free league for yeah. manager who want to attend. The, uh, the entry fee was discussed in the world uh, admins group. Um, and it was, it was just one of those that potentially further down the line, if it was yeah. allowed and um, 
then it wouldn't be a problem. Because obviously Bob said he'd he'd buy a few rewards when we were at like five divisions and then it went to 15. And I said to him, I don't really want you putting your sort of hand in your pocket to pay out for, you know, 15 different um, different things. So there are some limited rewards. They're not amazing, but Bob's got a few good ones in there. Um, but yeah, if, if people are paying an entry fee, like you say, if you pay for something, you're more likely to stick around and do it. Um, mm-hmm. And then plus that, that entry fee can go towards better rewards each um for each division mm. and whether it's just like the winning the threshold you know whether it's i don't know what is the threshold these days what is it point zero zero three in it at the moment changes um, every day baby yeah so <laughs> whether it's just one threshold entry fee or i don't know like but then again it's like who holds that how do you how do you hold it so it's all questions but i think whatever's being discussed is not impossible um and people and people do want to do it. So I'm sure if... Oops. Sorry, go ahead. Go on. No, no, I was just going to say, I think also if it if it did stay on, let's say, Sora data, um, maybe finding a way to incorporate like some sort of badges where on your profile, like if you win, like division three champion, division two runner up, and just kind of have a section for that, whether it's on Sora data or on another site, I think people like to show off like, mm-hmm. you know, that they've done well and show off their successes. Um, Cause we're all, obviously we're all competitive cause we're all playing this, mm-hmm. this game, but like people like to see their rankings. And I mean, obviously there's not like a easy way to just in general rank so rare managers, but like showing that you're like, even with the points, like you're the number one scoring manager for season one, you know, people like to see that even though there's no like monetary value to it. I think people like to show that off. So something Do like we, that. Um... Too. do we know who is overall is it mcbride still <laughs> uh let's see yeah but i i will say that yep he's got he has 24 more points than doge sport but i will say some leagues including myself haven't been able to play in three weeks so right maybe so is that point. is that still the case for <laughs> division four and seven you can't do anything i haven't seen it yet on um I'm looking at the standings right now. We've only played four weeks. Yeah, it's four. Yeah, four weeks. And then everyone drew the fifth week. And then there's been nothing since because there's just been nothing. So I guess I can make everyone have a draw. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but four, oh, do we, three. <laughs> do we, would we have any idea why that happened? Or is it just one of those? I'm in things? League Seven. And I honestly, I, I thought, I thought the world league was, was just paused. Cause I, <laughs> I thought it was the same for everyone. Honestly, yeah. I didn't know if we were still able to do it. Um, I, I don't know. Sort it's of like, strange. Uh, as soon as you, um, so as soon as you set the fixtures, we found out that not, you can't leave the league basically. So managers could leave before fixtures were set. And then I think once the fixtures are set, that's it. There's no stopping. There's no stopping anything basically. Um, but yeah, I don't know why your league and division four just shut down basically no just idea. just out of out of the they just random just number of, generator chose four and seven to, yeah to four and seven for some reason yeah you're done um <laughs> yeah but yeah like i said it, it's just mm. wasn't but yeah. wasn't division four and division seven both the heavily drama ridden divisions uh four four i think so yeah yeah four, maybe it's had Nellis, drama. He's, he's what was seven something. Seven yeah, four, four, four was the Nellis versus So Round a Budget block block <laughs> gate uh, drama for sure. It was right. a little, got a little dicey there for a minute. So Nellis has definitely pulled the plug on that because he was probably losing. <laughs> and then Division Seven, who was in that? Uh, Zarky drama. and uh, Zarky was Zarky. top, I think. And G's are both in it. Yeah. Was there a lot of big hitters in that division then? Maybe. Was that like one of those low uh, divisions both. that had a lot of strong people in it? All stars. Australia were both, they were Australia 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 were both yeah. four and zero before it closed off um, division seven was in my head i was thinking there was something else about those two divisions from the last few weeks i can't remember what it was for division seven if i'm just um tripping b <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 it's the wheels and uh managers with low budget are spread pretty evenly so like in each uh actually you see like probably one or two wheels and the rest are pretty comparable that could be kind of a cool thing to add to the league table is your wins, loss, draw, and your your uh, gallery valuation. 
and you don't yeah. that's just that's just okay, as like yeah. a note not not something that you get that doesn't affect your ranking within the the table but it just like can show card like count? yeah card count might be better than than gallery value yeah in that case for sure because uh but yeah just something to sort of show like hey here, here's a minnow who's beating the whales etc and stuff like that is it, yeah, anything like a, that adds to the competitiveness is great like or even like a i don't know if value would make the most sense because like a rare mbappe right. or whatever it's worth like 10 and then a limited is right. worth whatever it's worth but it's technically the same card in the in the contest right so maybe like a quality of i don't even know how that would be figured out but the quality of cards available or maybe yeah. it'd be like l15 average of all cards or something like that but I don't really know if that's like the exact metric. That'd be a but... cool one. L15 of all cards. That'd be a fun number. Yeah, that'd be really, really cool. Yeah. But, no, like... but I, I like that thought tripping because like whenever, like if you were just like somebody at home listening to this and you're a part of it, you want to be able to look at the scores and see at a glance, oh, that's a guy with only 12 cards or something. You know? Right. He's top of the table. <laughs> and yeah. he's top or he's just spanked, yeah. you know, this this guy. Sean Newsham, whoever he is, with all these cards, you know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, you might be able to see that kind of stuff at a glance. So some way of like identifying that, uh, I think would be quality also. I think it, I think there was a real mix of who because uh, Scotty Ballbags was, I think he was Division Four as well, and I think he was near the top. Must have been potentially top two or three because he kept oh. tagging me and saying, "I'm not getting relegated like you predicted." <laughs> um, he kept reminding me, but uh, he kept the receipts on that one. Yeah, so he was up there, but um, obviously his division's gone into meltdown, so we will never know. But um, yeah, like I say, we'll just uh, we'll get this finished, um, and then we'll have a maybe a general chat about way forward because well, that's what I was going to say. Is there's like three or so game depending on what division you're in, um, of course. But there's like let's just say circa three game weeks left, um. That will take us up to, I'm guessing, what, like the middle of October or something like was, that? I think the last one was set for game week 310. So. 310. Oh, really? Is it? Wow, that's, yeah. that's that's coming upon us very, very quickly. Yeah. Game week 310. Okay. So season two, like, because obviously, like, a lot of people will be who weren't, like, NG's talking about, some people that weren't able to join the party this time will be eager to do so, as well as everyone who's participated this time, for better or for worse, the, you know, like lessons learned and oh, I better actually mm-hmm. not forget to put my team in in game week three and ruin it or you know everyone I think who's participated this time at my point will be quite eager to go again in some capacity so um you know over the next over the next like uh, three game weeks there is still plenty to fight for because like when if we, if it does go regionalized I do suspect you know like if you're like punched above your weight and stuff like that in terms of initial rankings for anything like this like the points that were hitting on the board still mean something. They're still going towards something is what I would mm-hmm. probably suggest to everyone watching and listening at home. Yeah, I, th- I think that would be the way forward is we work out where people are based. Um, and, yeah. then, and then just then, extrapolate out where yeah. people would have been and such. And Yeah, so the, guy, the guys in America, you'd work out the high scoring points would go into Division 1, for example. Um, sure. I think three divisions by each region is roughly about i think you'd get 30 managers in each region yeah maybe slightly more in in europe or north america um but yeah there's i did um i did a giveaway of cards and the people that were retweeting and following that were coming from all over the place so i think i had like 500 odd retweets and something for and there were people on there that I've never people love, seen. <laughs> people yeah. love free, yeah, all over the world. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I say I don't think we've even touched the surface of, you know, now people know about it as well. And if it goes regional, you know, I'm saying I'm saying thirty managers per region, but you could probably double that. But it's just the, it's finding the right platform and way to do it is the key. So. Um, well, so what I would say on that note to anyone who's watching or listening. Let it be known, you know, if you want to participate, if you did have a good time, if you anything at all in either the comment section of, of this on any corresponding tweet that you see from any of the guys, everyone's everyone who's on the video, their Twitter will be in the description. So make sure you give everyone a follow. But equally, whenever you see any of that stuff going out, all the engagement and interaction just lets, you know, the people that are kind of, you know, putting this together exactly where the feelings are and where 
you know, the demand is, if you like, you know, so if, you know, we're talking about 30 managers in the region, it could be 300 for all we know, you know, so if you are interested in any respect at all, because I would also, I would probably just make an open suggestion at this point, like with the World Cup and everything, Lumen, with these kind of things, like quite often, like as we've seen with the kind of the false starts, some of these game weeks we've had in this, and I know from my own experience of fantasy football in my younger days is once you kind of lose the rhythm or something, it's quite easy to just forget about it and never come back to it again. So I don't know if it would be a good idea to get like a few game weeks in before the World Cup. So then we've all got an idea of, oh, okay, there's there's a, there's Man League. And that's the region I'm in. I've played a game or two. I've won them or I've not lost them. And then when everything is on a downtime, it's just a case of turning it back on again rather than, you know, went to the back end of the World Cup until there's a lot of fixtures to maybe come in. So again, people's interest in all that would probably help inform an opinion like that, maybe a bit better. So um and again, I'm, I'm, it might be the absolute opposite. Maybe everyone would want some downtime and then come at it fresh in the new year or something. But I think, you know, if we're finishing in game week 310, there's probably a wee bit of room to maybe at least have, I don't know, maybe I'm, I'm just talking gibberish now. Yeah, I think the, I think whether it's starting in a few weeks' time or you did start again after, you know, the new year, it's finding the right place to run it Yeah, is the key. And if there's people out there that, know what they're doing right. uh, Zach obviously knows what he's doing when it comes to the, the API stuff I, I think I said to him on a, a message between us that he's in charge now of setting up the new structure and all that games weeks but <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure he accepted so <laughs> um, but yeah if anyone knows about how to do this stuff then feel free to send us a message and or we try and tag it on to one of those that are already running side games um, and they can just carry on because the idea is there. And like I say, it's we just want we just want it to run smoothly. So division four and seven aren't blocked, and um, we can see league tables where we're meant to see league tables and things like that. Fantastic. Well, gentlemen, it's been an absolute pleasure um, getting back up to speed. I'm very much. I've got my team set. I've only got one defender. I can't believe I've got a goalkeeper either. Um, for this game week, but I'm just about getting a team out. Um, NG, it was, it was great to meet you, mate. Thanks a lot for coming on. Hope you had fun. Thank you for having me, and thank you for organizing this. And uh, Daza, um, you're the best for organizing this World League. So, all the credit to you. Thanks, mate. And Zachary Poo, the newly appointed match secretary for the World <laughs> Community League. It's been an absolute pleasure, long overdue, to meet yourself. Thanks for coming on, my man. Thanks, much appreciated. Trippin' Beavs, I've seen you as well. Always, mate. I, I, <laughs> may, 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 you know, what can I say? I, no, no glowing uh, in, intro for me, but my, I, let me just throw out there. Maybe Zarki would, would accept your, your challenge, Dazzer, if you gave him the title Chief Information Officer of, That's the, fine. of the World League. So who knows? Chief, yeah. Whatever you want to be called. <laughs> That's a power title. That goes GBP, on a business card. That, that, there you go. <laughs> Executive Vice, Vice President uh, mm -hmm. is appointed. So... <laughs> Dazzer, as always, Dazzer, as always, thanks a lot, my man, for, for putting us all together and having us on again for this week. No problem, mate. And thanks to everyone who was watching. Take care. <laughs>